In the move to decarbonize transportation, the most difficult sector to move to alternate energy is aviation. The amount of chemical potential energy stored in a unit volume of hydrocarbon fuel is enormous, and this high energy density is an essential component in the design of modern aircraft to deliver range and payload requirements that keep air travel efficient and affordable. But this may be changing with a new generation of electric technologies. Batteries are heavy, but the addition of fuel cells promises to claw back much of the weight advantage of hydrocarbon fuels without the carbon footprint. I spoke with Jacques Alexis Varakia, head of product at Beyond Aero, about some exciting developments in fuel cell powered aviation. Take a look. Jacques, for the many mission profiles, of course, require a quick turnaround. And for refueling purposes for liquid fuels that we know, like Jet A, it might be uh, pressure fueling from uh, a dry brake connector fitted to the underside of the wing or the fuselage, or gravity filling from a filler cap at the top. How, how, what is the interface? How do you refuel a hydrogen powered aircraft? So that's a very good question. And uh, as you mentioned, so we are going with a gaseous hydrogen uh, aircraft. Uh, we know that liquid is better because you have basically twice the energy density with liquid and uh, for the same volume, basically. Uh, so we know that liquid is very promising, but again, very pragmatic. We decided to go with gaseous because the gaseous hydrogen technologies already exist. They've been proven on the automotive industry, on the uh, heavy trucks, for instance, or, or forklifts or whatever. So we, we decided to go with uh, gaseous hydrogen, still having in, in our mind the fact that when liquid is available, we should be able to switch rapidly to liquid with minimum minimal uh, impact on the, on the aircraft. So this is for the development. But for the gaseous hydrogen, basically, and, uh, and it's, it's a good question because it's, it's really uh, uh, on the top of my mind at the moment. Uh, at Beyond, we know that we need to have hydrogen available in airports by the time we're on the market. We cannot expect or wait for anybody to provide hydrogen or to, to rely on, on that. It's, it's way too risky. So we're, we're doing that job. So we're in discussion with a lot of airports and to refuel the aircraft, we know that the turnaround time is key because again, that product is made for customers, for clients. And of course, if we say, okay, uh, you have to wait two hours before being able to fly again, it's not acceptable. 